Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. So it is 2.30 in the morning and we're up early because we're going to Italy. So um, it was a very last minute planned trip. We only decided about like four weeks ago to go. So it's just my mum, dad and I, as my brother couldn't get time off work. And we're gonna be two days in Rome, two days in Venice and two days in Florence. So I am pretty excited and yeah now i just got ready i'm like obviously not doing any makeup but this is my outfit these dungarees and i'm making some indian tea for us to take on the way because we're driving to stanford airport because it's just easy i'm parking there so yeah i'm so excited so guys we are at stanford airport and we're in the car park and it's very cold We are now walking to our gate and we literally just made it. I'm gonna like, when I get near the gate, I'll explain. But yeah, it's so busy. And there's a lot of children and I didn't expect it because it's like not even half term. But yay, we're nearly here. I can see our gate, which is 45. We are going on the plane! Yay! And I'm just sitting down and I'm so happy I've got a window seat and like mum and dad are like back there because we all got separated. But yeah, it was like a rush to get here because we got to the car park on time. You know the car park was closed and we parked there and then we went to the bus and we were waiting for a good half an hour and we didn't know. We were just like, what the hell is happening? And then loads of other people were waiting because no one knew because there was no sign. And then luckily we, luckily, we were like, we were rushing. And then we went past and we saw like loads of buses. And then they said, yeah, that bus stop is closed. And that car park, so we had to rush, get back in the car, park somewhere else, which is really weird. And then we literally ran through like security and stuff, but it was okay, it wasn't too bad. And now we're sitting here on the plane, thank God. And um, yeah, it's really dark still. So hopefully we might be able to see the sunrise and yeah. So we are currently looking for a hotel. We've been looking for about a good 20 minutes just walking around because obviously language barrier is a thing but we did get on the train and the bus and then we went to the wrong hotel uh, and now he's given us directions but hopefully we'll get to the hotel and it's so pretty here. Like the weather's not even that bad. Like it was raining a little bit but now it's okay. Like it's not even cold. So we went to our hotel and well it's not really a hotel we didn't really know but it's like an apartment but it was actually really nice and no I wasn't hungry I might have it like later but I'm not really that hungry at the moment and we went there and the lady was so lovely that like, she was explaining everything and vlogging and um, I just got ready as you can tell because I was like I want to do my makeup and bless you mum bless you and bless you <laughs> and now we have just left because we've got obviously we're only here for until tomorrow like two o'clock so we're just going to try and do as much as we can 
So we're at Pete, St. Peter's Square and we are by the Vatican and it's so pretty and I love the buildings and I shall show you, like the queue is massive but we're not going to do it because we don't have enough time but we just wanted to see the outside and it's We are in the co a coffee shop and it smells amazing, like there are so many different flavours and it just smells so good and I love coffee, yep. We are getting some hot chocolate and, and some ice cream I think because it's in a really nice and cool place, like it's so cute. What was the flavours? Pistachio and tiramisu. Uh, this is hot chocolate. We are in the train station because it was raining so much before and I shall explain in a bit. But we are looking to go somewhere. Uh, yeah. Porta Ferba. I feel like that's nearer. Okay. We're at this random station and we just got off to see what it is. And no, you're not allowed to go through. Can't go. Not allowed to go. And yeah, I have no idea what I've even vlogged. Like this whole day has been a mishmash because we're trying to rush around and do what we can. And I think we have gone out of the wrong exit, which is great. So we got off the station and we were walking for a few minutes and realised there was nothing there. And now we've got all the way back down. Not for another 20 minutes because the stations are so big to get to where we want to go. So doing more walking unnecessarily. So we are by the Spanish step and the view is so pretty. Although it's like quite cloudy, it's still really nice. So if I show you, like it looks so pretty and the dome over there is like lit up. It's like really hard to see, but it's so pretty. And now we're going to one of the churches. So for the past 
45 minutes we've been looking for this restaurant called Emma's Pizza because we've been recommended about quite a few people and we got there and they said they're shut for another 45 minutes so we luckily we found um, Tiger there were loads of other shops at like H&M and stuff but we've just come into Tiger just to like browse around because it's somewhere warm while we wait for another 45 minutes and I am so hungry right now that I could eat so much and yeah I'm really excited to have food hopefully soon if possible. Good morning guys, so we are on our second day for Rome and um, sorry I didn't end the vlog last night, um, we came back straight to our room because we were so tired and I literally just fell asleep and the, it's so pretty, like it's so sunny today and apparently it's not raining so that's good. Like yesterday it wasn't too bad. D Dad, the bus stop's opposite she said. 916. What's your phone? Mom! No! We are not crossing how we are meant to be crossing. It's a bit dodge. Cars everywhere. <laughs> so this is our room. I should tell it's very messy, but it's like an Airbnb. Come <laughs> on a black thing on the right hand side. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, you tell me I don't know what to do. <laughs> We finished our tour at the Colosseum and yeah, yeah we need to be back there and it was so interesting to learn about the architecture and the different sports and games that happen like with the animals and like the horses and the slaves and stuff 
and we were lucky because we got to go on like the other side to see when um, the um, when the fights would happen, the entrances, and then we managed to get like a few good views. And now we're doing the second part of the tour, which starts in half an hour, but we're not really sure where that is. So we're going to go and grab a coffee and then go like look for wherever, wherever we have to go. And the weather is perfect. It's so nice. Extending and conquering the known world. Uh, also, we'll see a thing that is from 500 before Christ, so 500 years before Jesus was even born. Another thing from six, so Jesus was a baby boy basically. And the ruins of the imperial palace over there, the first palace on the hill, Domus Tibet. Hey, guys, the actual titles behind me is the oldest art in the city of Rome, the age is 81 after Christ. And against all the misconceptions, the arches of Rome were not gates. No. They were triumphal monuments built by the Roman emperors after triumphs. So we just had lunch at a really nice cafe. I am so full that we had pizza and pasta again. Obviously that's all you can eat in Italy. And now we're just walking down um, some like really cute cobble street before we have to go to the hotel, grab our stuff and then go to Florence. So yeah, it's really pretty. So we are on our way back to the hotel or like Airbnb and um, yeah it's so sad but we were lucky because the sun was just setting there by the bridge so it looks really pretty and yeah I'm really sad that we're leaving Rome because it's been so beautiful like I love learning about the history. So we are ending our trip um, by the Vatican which is actually quite funny because we started this way. So we have arrived at Termini, which is like the station, like the main train station, and we are on our way to Florence, and we literally just made it, and the train is approaching. And yeah, we had to rush because the buses were so confusing. On the way to Florence, we were about nearly two and a half hours. It was delayed slightly, but it's been a really good journey because I actually managed to edit my vlog for Rome, which is good, and yeah, it's like the 9th time. 
been late, but they would have put a hotel fleet on the early tomorrow. We have just arrived in Florence, we've just got up the station, and we are walking to our hotel. And I think it's literally like a five minute walk, which is really handy. And yeah, look, so we have just got to our hotel, and it is so pretty. It's like a boutique hotel. It's hard to find, but it's very nice. I'm just going to show you the other 22. And I'm just going to go in and open the door. Wait, how do you open the door? So, this is our room, and it is so cute and pretty. Very different to the other one, but yeah, it's very nice. And got a good mirror because the other one didn't have a mirror at last time. Got cover spray, something wrong. And we've got a bathroom. It actually has a really big mirror, which is good. And yeah, and downstairs looks very nice as well. 